Hey everyone, Carolina Venom here. Uh, the reason why I'm running this speed test right now, as you see, I am in full 4G LTE service using my ZTE Warp 4G, and I have actually reached my 5 gig data cap. So now my speeds are throttled and everything. And I wanted to kind of show you the speed that you'll probably will be getting if you do get throttled. Uh, this is, like I said, this is on Boost Mobile. Uh, I'm on their um, $45 a month plan to give you 5 gigabytes of high speed 3G, 4G data. And after that, you're throttled. So we'll go ahead and run this test and we'll see what speeds we are going to pull. So as you see, we're not even pushing a tenth of a megabit. Harley, uh, 0 0.09, trying to get to 10 there. So download speeds is very bad. But as you see, upload speeds are still 7 plus megabits per second. Uh, well, dropping down a little bit now to 6.5 to 6.8. Uh, so as you can see, the download speeds seems to be the only thing affected by the throttle. So that's a good thing, you know, if you're uploading to YouTube or something like that, to where you want to upload it fast, 6.8 megabits upload will, you know, get you a uh, 1.5 to 2 gig upload done in about, you know, an hour, as opposed to a lot longer if you got a slower home internet speed. So the download is affected, but the upload seems to not be so that's the kind of speed you can expect if once you reach your cap on uh, boost mobile virgin mobile whatever you have that's got a cap on it but it's still unlimited so that's a good thing so i thought i'd run this little test here to kind of show you what it's like i'm gonna get out of here we'll talk to y'all later